Hi everyone, Nefertil Tech here and today I would like to show you how you can connect an Xbox or a PlayStation controller to a Nintendo Switch using Bluetooth. So normally speaking, the Switch doesn't support either a PlayStation 4 or 5 controller on Xbox One S or One X controller uh, over Bluetooth. So you actually need to be running a custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch. So in my case, I'm running Atmosphere. Uh, which supports up to firmware version 12.1 as of now and I've made a full in-depth guide on how you can install the Atmosphere custom firmware or a Nintendo Switch yourself so I'll be leaving that link in the video description down below as well so before you follow this guide you need to make sure to be running a custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch so that's what I also have installed in this Switch right here so if I just go into system settings and scroll down to system you can see that my current system version is 12.1 and I'm using Atmosphere version 1.0 uh, as an MUMMC partition. So Atmosphere is installed to my micro SD card. Um, this is just the general setup that I recommend to you if you want to run a custom firmware. And once you have this setup, you're actually good to go to install a hardware application that allows us to pair the Xbox and PlayStation controllers over Bluetooth. So first thing you want to do is you want to power up your Nintendo Switch and we need to transfer over some files to the micro SD card. Just power it off and eject the micro SD card and use either a micro SD card adapter or whatever uh, to plug the micro SD card into your PC. And if you don't have a micro SD card adapter, I'll have some links in the video description for you to check out. But once you have one, you can just plug in your micro SD cards to your PC and just minimize that window right now so what we're going to install is an application called mission control and uh, i'll be leaving this link in the description as well so you can read for yourself how it works what it does and also how you can install it if this guide is isn't that clear to you but what we basically need to do is we need to download the latest release from here so as of today the latest release is version uh, 0.5.1 so just download the zip file and place it on your desktop so I've already done so. So if I just exit out of this, you'll see that I have the mission control zip file on my desktop right here. Double click on it and you will find these two files. So we have the atmosphere folder and the config folder. So all you need to do is just basically drag and drop these files onto your micro SD card. So what I always like to do is just open up a new window in Windows File Explorer that shows the contents of the micro SD card. And all you have to do is just drag and drop these two folders to your micro SD card and then we're already good to go and we have the necessary files placed on a micro SD card so I can just eject the card from your PC and plug it back into your Nintendo Switch so now you can use your favorite method to boot into the atmosphere custom firmware so you can either use TechRC on the PC or you can use a payload injector so I'll be using a pellet injector and if you don't have one, but you would like to have one, I also have some links in the video description. First things first, we need to boot our switch into recovery mode. So I'll be using an RCM jig for that. Then I will press the volume up button as well as the power button for a few seconds. Now the switch is in recovery mode. I boot up the pellet injector, plug it inside the Nintendo switch and this will boot the atmosphere custom firmware onto the switch now we can remove the RCM jig apply the joycon controller back on and unlock the switch but you will see if we go to the album there is no applications from mission control so you might be wondering well <laughs> how do I actually connect a bluetooth controller to my switch right now and it's actually really easy so all you have to do is just go to your controls menu right here and you want to change the grip and order. So you can look for a new controller and in this case, let's see if I can make this work. I have an Xbox controller, so I will just power it on and I will hold down the sync button until it starts blinking at a faster rate. Then just wait for a few seconds. Now it's paired. As you can see right there on the switch, it's paired so I can't focus on both I think. So let's go back and focus on the switch to actually show you that this works. 
So of course we still have layout of the Nintendo Switch buttons. So the B button is the A button and the A button is the B button. So that may be a bit confusing, but as you can see, the buttons do work. It's actually pretty cool. And it's basically how you connect a, a Xbox controller to a Nintendo Switch. If you have a PlayStation controller, then just be sure to follow the same steps, but you may need to press some other buttons in order to start syncing and start pairing a PlayStation controller to a Nintendo Switch. And on the website of Mission Control and the GitHub page, there's also a list with controllers that are currently being supported. And of course, the list is growing and growing as Mission Control gets more mature. So yeah, that's basically the guide on how you can pair an Xbox or PlayStation controller to an Nintendo Switch. As you can see, it's very simple once you have a custom firmware up and running. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.